Hello? So it's about addresses in OpenStreetMap and uh, how it all started. Uh, I started uh, at the beginning of the last year when the uh, state land services finally started publishing most of their data, including addresses as open data on the web and open data portal. Uh, for open statements, there was uh, also need for a waiver because uh, the license is CC BY uh, 4.0. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, it was discussed in OpenStreetMap community and uh, came up for a need for an automated way uh, to use some of this data in uh, OpenStreetMap. And the idea was accepted. And um, where I started that this was also a um, personal work experience with address data in Latvia for more than 10 years, both in the Central Statistica Bureau and uh, back then when it was started this inventory of addresses in uh, Riga. Uh, well, importing data in OpenStreetMap is uh, complicated. Uh, Basically, you have to follow this automated edits code of conduct. Uh, you have to discuss with local community. You have to follow also import guidelines requirements and uh, discuss it in import mailing list. And because of the documentation of uh, open state is sometimes is poor, this was not uh, clearly stated at the beginning. Uh, you need also a dedicated user account for that and a great wiki page containing documentation. Um, here's a specific one uh, for uh, this uh, bot that is used to update addresses currently. And you also need to add it to a dedicated category. Um, so for this purpose was uh, created um, user uh, bot, uh, it's called Latvia bot because uh, it can be expanded to update not only addresses but uh, some, uh, some other stuff. Uh, for example, uh, borders, but it's not implemented yet. And uh, the ge uh, geographical scope is uh, defined by cadastral parcels, also open data for stand land services. Uh, why not administrative borders? Because they exclude uh, all collaterals. And the uh, bot is currently run approximately every month since uh, for already a year now. A bit of uh, statistics, uh, which can be checked out for any OpenStreetMap user. So there are more than. Uh, let's go over small. Uh, oh, sorry, we seem to be seeing the previous slide. When you were speaking, there seems to be the previous slide that's played on the screen. Okay, it's the. Uh, okay, next one. Yeah, I got this one. Because the presenter, your next slide is bigger than the current one. At least here, so yeah. Okay, now it's matching. Matching now, so Well, so there are more than. Uh, million uh, edits already, some of them are corrections of a uh, few mistakes which were found out during the process and uh, there are a lot of bugs uh, which were found out but fixed uh, a couple of uh, months ago. Um, so what does a bug does is it uh, compares OpenStreetMap and state land services data in uh, Postgres and uploads OSM change files to OpenStreetMap. And the uh, process is I uh, use uh, software osmosis and upload PY. And it uses uh, OpenStreetMap data from uh, GeoCrimix, internal data excerpt of Latvia, which is updated with OSM update. And uh, because uh, when you do this importing and processing, data can change because uh, OpenStreetMap is constantly changing, so in case uh, this element that needs to be updated has been changed, it's uh, skipped at that moment. 
uh, a bit about other thing in Latvia. It's the uh, fund by regulation of cabinet of ministers, and the addresses are set by municipalities, but uh, that uh, managed a centralized information system, uh, state address register for state land service. Um, and the open data published uh, are alternative, because almost all existing open state address data that the find was uh, replaced or removed. And uh, there is a um, rather common misunderstanding in people that they think that the plate on the house uh, means address of the house. No, it's not so. It uh, should match the one in address register. If it doesn't match, the right address is an address register because uh, there are many old plates you can place practically anything, and this is not the true address. It should match by the law, but uh, it's not always the case. Uh, there's uh, also an example of uh, one picture. This is uh, this, uh, Portals 2, and uh, the current uh, house it, uh, doesn't even have an address point on it, but uh, probably it's in fact better because the same address results as uh, uh, house number 2 and uh, number 2. And uh, uh, from the state address register, only addresses, uh, address data on buildings and land parcels intended for building are used. Uh, to comply with existing OSM principles, for example, not adding addresses, address tags to play at places because uh, in address register you have also these this entries for municipalities, villages, streets, and etc. And uh, within address register, location of addresses of buildings and land parcels are defined by point coordinates, and uh, one coordinate pair exists for address even if it applies to multiple buildings, like in the and addresses of all buildings and land parcels are also defined uh, in the state land service data in uh, the state immovable property uh, address information system, but uh, currently only point based data from state address register is used. Although at a later stage, it might be possible to set addresses for all buildings of certain type, for example, uh, residential ones. Uh, by using open data from uh, that information system. So some uh, uh, tags were uh, left untouched. There's our uh, add unit. In uh, general, it's used for uh, ways uh, in more common language polygons uh, if a building contains no more than uh, one flat and address is assigned to uh, more than one building or building part. And also, in some cases, it's uh, used for error houses. Also, tax add doer, used for number of flats, uh, which is used for, for example, for some businesses, etc. And depend on address information given by them or survey. Uh, also, tag add flats. Uh, flats are defined in the state address register, but uh, there is no information through which to which but a flat is accessible and where rules are located. And also tax are the floor which are uh, used for some businesses and not, are not part of official addressing in Latvia. Um, so these tags which uh, are used uh, by spot is uh, Define city, uh, country, uh, municipality, logistic tag, house names, numbers, postal codes, uh, street names, uh, rural territories, uh, also uh, tag uh, for address code, which was uh, which is a new one, uh, linking with uh, unique identifier in the state address register because if you do any import uh, using the original tags from the data source helps a lot. Um, and also uh, we added uh, previous addresses, uh, house names, house numbers and uh, uh, street. Uh, the main example of the previous address uh, of a recently changed one in Riga. You can see uh, the previous uh, street name here. 
And uh, so all that just stacks uh, the, the history of the usage, and you can see um, high spikes um, it's being of this year. So this is data from last year. So uh, rather a lot from uh, all the text used for that. Um, so use of any other address tags so or tags that resemble address is, is not accepted. Uh, such tags are removed by the bot. And uh, there's also some uh, more cleaning to remove any tags for buildings if the image house number or street was uh, house number. And uh, there's also, if you are not interested in open street map data, but for example, you have a local database uh, that uh, you did your own address register before address register was open data, which is a rather uh, common in Latvia. So if you want to move to a uh, state address register, you have to link by your address notation, by field, street name, post number, etc. So uh, if you use Postgres, you can use this uh, procedure to adapt to your needs and save a day or two. Because in the open data of uh, state address registers, uh, pre uh, the previous address is uh, everything in uh, one line. Uh, so the process how we uh, assign the addresses to elements in OSM. Mm, basically, if, in, uh, if it's uh, as, um, added in um, one step, so uh, the address is uh, not assigned anymore in the next step. So the first one is uh, adding address to the closest isolated dwelling, whose name matches and is located on more than 25 meters from the address point. And uh, because the data quality of isolated dwellings is uh, not so good in uh, Latvia, and should be approved, so it's assigned only to nodes at the uh, list place the names uh, database as a source. The next step is to add addresses for building polygons, both ways and relations, uh, and polygons should contain only one on this point. Next one is uh, adding addresses for building polygons, uh, ways and relations, and uh, uh, cases where poly a polygon covers more than half of building polygon in cadastral coding address point from which address is taken, and this is to assign addresses for missile polygons, uh, for example, digitized from uh, satellite imagery back for, uh, in times when the Oracle protocols were not uh, freely available. Next one uh, is adding addresses to address points, uh, nodes containing only address tags. Uh, so the first one is uh, when the address points matches, so basically it's address points added uh, previously. Next one is uh, case when house name matches, and distance is uh, not uh, more than uh, around one kilometer. And uh, then it's the uh, case when house number and street uh, matches to the same distance. And uh, this is uh, the second or third step, it's uh, basically in the first, uh, as the first time when the bot was run, when there were already other points added in uh, OpenStreetMap. So uh, no, these uh, steps are uh, unlikely to be used. Uh, and the next one is uh, insert missing addresses. And uh, to add a complexity, uh, this is a lot. Also, as assign addresses to tags uh, uh, to objects in uh, listed in uh, CSV filing GitHub, basically to amenity shops, offices, etc. Because it wouldn't be nice if we had uh, addresses to buildings and address points and uh, to all these uh, amenities, etc. As this uh, manually user edit data. So first is uh, for a ways. Um, the polygon converts one address point. And the next one is the relations containing ways. Um, the same condition, and the uh, third one is a note. Uh, when uh, address is taken from uh, obviously from building polygon in the first place, where node is located, uh, the next one is uh, from uh, uh, building from the state immutable property address information system, and the last one is the same one from online parcel. Um, so there are uh, 
to common data quality issues. One is poor accuracy of geometry holdings, both in open street and in cadastre. The first one is poor digitization of buildings, likely from satellite data source, so it should be changed in open street map, just to draw the buildings correctly. And the second example is in cadastre, because the actual building is located elsewhere, and in cadastre address points, are put inside the building in, uh, in the cadaster. So if it's in the wrong place in cadaster, also the address point will be in the wrong place. I know this is uh, address to uh, state land services also by uh, young side in one discussion, discussion. So maybe they could place the address point in such cases on the real location on the building, for example, to so their processors. And, uh, the second uh, quality issue uh, I found is that multiple address points are within one open strip of building. And the uh, most common case is that uh, multiple buildings or building parts are digitized as one building in open strip, which so you should uh, separate the open strip and read more on the wiki. Also, as the open strip is a community, there's a uh, our past query by uh, another user that you can use to check uh, these uh, cases. So, a bit example from uh, block activity. So, from last month, it's around uh, 2,000 uh, objects uh, every month. And uh, you can, uh, it's a nice uh, tool, OSM chart, or you can. Uh, uh, we should see uh, changes from every user of uh, OpenStreet. And uh, some other thoughts, uh, if, uh, yeah, if local community likes don't expect to happen globally, because when uh, there was uh, this need, Mark tells us need to add also to this import mailing list, uh, then, uh, well, um, I didn't expect that, but okay. Um, also, a global community doesn't have an understanding of interesting Latvia, so you can uh, keep in mind that also outside of OpenStreetMap, if you do need to process the data of a specific country, uh, local uh, community will likely know better, because uh, some suggestions uh, Insisting on, uh, for example, splitting your house names, it's, it's nonsense. And uh, there's also a miss. Uh, uh, not so uh, clearly written on an open statement per wiki about the uh, usage of other place, so it was uh, left uh, without exact answer. So it's uh, hanging around. Uh, but we use the same principle as, as is used in Estonia, and uh, to my understanding, it's uh, fine to use this in a way that we use. Currently, we don't uh, use this added place at uh, all. And as I said, this uh, search engine nominative also needs to be improved because the text uh, parsing, it com if compared to bottom marks, for example, it's uh, rather basic. And the automated updates in OpenStreetMap are more complicated than in the majority, if not any internal databases of institutions, enterprises, because there are many other uh, things you uh, have to care about. And uh, also, OpenStreetMap latter lacks active users to significantly boost up data coverage and quality. For example, many roads and buildings are still missing, especially in rural areas. And uh, this is one mapping project created by Richard uh, to map buildings in Reset in municipalities. So if you want to help, you can check it out. Um, what can, of course, can be extended. For example, to update and man uh, maintain borders, uh, to extend data sources for some special protected nature areas. Um, to correct tax and uh, to more important to use dedicated server and perform fully automated updates every day because uh, currently it's uh, uh, done uh, semi automatically every month and uh, so uh, currently also setting up is a step by step guide but probably to provision a configure using Ansible would be better. So this link to GitHub. Uh, where's the code? If 
you find any bugs, uh, you can uh, create a ticket there. And also, I open Steve with the Zulu chat. So there's uh, also a specific stream for addresses, which is probably Thank you, Donald. We have several questions. Uh, I'm going to start with some of the shorter ones first. So uh, you mentioned uh, earlier in one of your slides that uh, you have already mapped addresses. Earlier in the slide, you described that you mapped to them. Uh, in other, another slide, you mentioned that you delete or discard addresses from the survey. What actually happens? Do you map to earlier addresses, or do you delete or discard the addresses from the survey? <laughs> long question, so it disappears from there. It's Because addressing is a legislation. 
you can put up your own plate or something like that and say that this is an address. You can use some 30 years ago plate and, uh, and say that this is, it's not so. Sure. You can go, for example, in... Uh, I've seen uh, street plates taking uh, made up street names. For example, in Uruguay, there's some cuddly and seagull, which is not existing anymore, but just for fun, somebody has put it up on its house. So, um, but uh, the usual case is uh, uh, old uh, data even from Soviet times still hanging around in the buildings. And uh, no, no, it's not an address. This is what is in the state address register, and in Latvia we have a, a good data source. Okay, I was not exactly speaking. Uh, this, this case is really tricky, but in some cases, even in good data set, the data is outright broken in some uh, places. Maybe uh, maybe here it is much better than Poland, where outright data set is uh, broken in many places. But, uh, so thank you for the discussion about the quality of data in uh, official and unofficial sources. I encourage you to continue this conversation over coffee. We will be continuing in this room in three minutes. Let's give Davos another hand. Speaker, second time.